Okay, welcome to my um, five inch narrow gauge um, maintenance train project. Here we see uh, the front axle, which actually will be the rear axle. It's on a five inch track and it's 12 inches wide. The cab will actually be 15 inches high and it's quite long, it's 36 inches long, which is three foot. You see you've got a welded cage there for the batteries, which uh, supply the power. There we see the brushless motor, which is what this project is all about. These batteries are 26 amp hour each. Um, if we go down here you can see it's train driven, very strong train drive on a uh, 20 tooth gear there and there's a 8 tooth gear on the motor itself. Let's see it in motion. Okay so we're going to run this round the track and see how it works out, just checking everything's in order here and we're starting to move. Not a problem for this at the moment as we're uh, we're going slightly downhill. You see the brushless motor spinning up there. And the axles with the chain drive in the background there. Picking up a bit of speed. That's the uh, speed controller just above the frame there. And the controller, turn it down as we're going downhill. Less, less than 0 0.1 of an amp. Um, so we're just going down here and it's maintaining speed. Just turn it up a bit. Ready for the uphill. Okay, just coming up to the steaming bays now, which is where the track levels off. I'm ready for the uphill climb. Just increase the power for the uphill section. Brushless motor looks good, there's a speed controller. And you see the uh, axle boxes nicely sprung there. If you just watch it for a second you'll see that they uh, move nicely with the undulations of the track. Sideways movement as well. And there's a good shot of the side. Still going up here at this point. It's the controller giving me all the information that I need for running. Climbing to the summit here, and at the summit of this section, we uh, will enter a tunnel. Speed controller looking good. There's the tunnel, and as you see, the speed controller has a red light on it to indicate that uh, we're actually under power. And the secondary light there is the BEC, which provides power for the fan. Brushless motor still going strong. And the speed controller, 60 amp speed controller we're using here. And you see we're putting about 4.4 amps here. And it's dropping off as we slowly go down a very slight downgrade. Good speed. Nice scale speed for this. I mean, this is this is actually going quite fast, but uh, estimate about six or seven miles an hour at this point. Uh, you see, we're idling now, so we're just rolling down here. going past the uh, wooded area now, uh, entering the woods, which is uh, just around a slight curve. 
and then we enter quite a severe grade I think it's 1 in 32 which is quite a lot for these little locos just around this corner here this is where the grade starts 1 in 32 so let's see how we do increase the power not slowing down still going strong so the chain drive really gives it a good uh, a good grip no slippage at all in full control went for a close up there in the panel but uh, in the shade you can't really read it on the camera but you see 8.3 amps there going up the grade and that 175 milliseconds or 178 milliseconds shows that uh, actually just over half throttle 2 milliseconds being full throttle this is a very slight uphill grade here nothing too strenuous for it still got a good header speed on it and the spring's still doing their job giving uh, the Loco a nice new ride this will eventually have six batteries we're running on three at the moment they're 26 amp hour each but they were one in parallel to give us 12 volts as this is using a 12 volt controller see the actual box is springing there that's the tunnel in the distance that we passed earlier so we're just coming into the station again where we started which gives us our track just under half a mile run and I'm going to use the motor to uh, give us dynamic braking and you'll hear that cutting in in a second there we go, that's the motor braking which will bring us to a complete stop so that's one lap round the track just under half a mile the motor at this point was hand warm but not hot it was easy to touch uh, the speed controller was very cold I'm just going to turn the controller back up to 1.5 which is idle and battery still showing 12.6 there's the battery connector Dean's connector and if we look over this side it will flash up 469 milliamp hour that's actually how much we consumed on that lap so just under half a mile 469 milliamp hour so that's literally half an amp for half a mile